Recent leaks have given us an extensive look at what to expect from the Nintendo Switch 2. With these new revelations, we now have a clear picture of the major updates and improvements. In this video, we'll break down the five most significant changes that are set to transform your gaming experience with the Nintendo Switch 2. The first major update for the Nintendo Switch 2 involves redesigned Joy-Con controllers. They will come with new Joy-Con controllers that are larger and more comfortable. They will have an extra button on the back and another button on the front of the right Joy-Con, below the home button. The new Joy-Cons will also attach more securely with a magnetic system, and the SL and SR buttons will be made of metal. These updates should make the Joy-Cons more comfortable to use. However, they won't work with the old Switch in handheld mode though they will still connect via Bluetooth for multiplayer games. Nintendo is also releasing a new accessory that lets you charge Joy-Cons outside the console. This accessory might be aimed at people looking for a cheaper solution before the Switch 2 arrives. Similar products have been available from other brands for years. Another big change is the Switch 2's display. It will have an 8-inch LCD screen with 1080p resolution, compared to the current 7-inch 720p OLED screen. The larger size and higher resolution will make the screen sharper, though it won't be as sharp as smartphone screens. The 1080p resolution will also help the battery last longer. The third major change in the Nintendo Switch 2 is its improved performance. This new console is expected to offer a significant upgrade compared to the original Switch, which has been using the older NVIDIA Tegra X1 chip from 2015. Modern smartphones, like the iPhone 15 Pro, already outperform the original Switch in terms of gaming, running games at higher settings, and frame rates. The Switch 2 is rumored to feature the new NVIDIA Tegra T239 chip, along with up to 12GB of RAM and 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage. This combination should provide around 4 teraflops of computing power, comparable to the Xbox Series South and close to the PS4 Pro's performance. This means the Switch 2 will be a considerable step up from the original Switch, which had a performance of 0.15 teraflops in handheld mode and 0.39 teraflops in docked mode. The Switch 2 will also support 4K resolution when docked, thanks to its advanced features like DLSS. Battery life is expected to be robust, with the handheld mode using only 5 watts. However, in docked mode, the Switch 2 will draw between 15 to 30 watts to achieve higher performance, including 4K resolution. There are concerns that the Switch 2 might have lower performance compared to devices like the Steam Deck. For example, a game running at 90 FPS on a Steam Deck might run at 60 FPS on the Switch 2. It is likely that the Switch 2's display will be limited to 60 Hz, though it will feature VR technology. The new Switch 2 is expected to have no built-in fan in handheld mode to extend battery life, while the dock will include a fan to manage the increased power draw. This setup should help maintain the Switch's reputation for good battery life, with up to 6 hours of playtime in handheld mode, compared to about 4 hours on the Steam Deck. With these performance improvements, it is likely that we will see AAA titles, such as Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed, on the Switch 2. Backwards compatibility with original Switch games is also anticipated, allowing these games to run at higher settings and 60 FPS. Some games may also support ray tracing. Finally, the Switch 2 will feature a redesigned user interface. While recent leaks suggest the new UI looks similar to the PS5s, it's expected that Nintendo will introduce some new features, possibly including customizable wallpapers. That's a look at the big changes coming with the Nintendo Switch 2. From new, larger Joy-Cons to a sharper display, it looks like there are some exciting updates ahead. What do you think about these changes? Are you looking forward to the Switch 2? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates and news. Thanks for watching.